welcome to my channel it's another lovely thursday when we are the goal to get singular sizzling topics on livestock diseases and animals my name is dr chinem ukwini and it's animals and me on the go to vet don't forget to hit the like subscribe and the bell button to get notifications every week thursdays for animal and me on the go to vet now for today's topic Today, I'm going to be talking about five basic necessities for every dog owner. Remember the other week we talked about 10 things you needed to know before getting a dog and this is Cody that was running away from us then. <laughs> Today, he's with me. Besides, congratulations if you've gotten a dog, if you have a dog. If you're still thinking about getting a dog and you want to know the needs, what you need for your dog, then this video is for you. Just watch it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? So what's the first thing you need whenever you think about getting these lovely people here? First, you need to think about do I have an environment, a living environment for them? The first thing you need to think about is a fully equipped kennel for them. Yes, where dogs stay is called a kennel. Now, the kennel of your dog should have the following qualities. It should not be damp. It should not be in a place where there's a lot of traffic to avoid exciting your dog a lot. And yes, I know a lot of people will carry their dog and keep it where the gents is. Please, dogs and films do not work together. They don't like films. It's not good to have um, your dogs always inhaling, inhaling very bad things. Yeah, so that being said, also let their kennel not be in a place where they can easily gain access to um, stray dogs or stray animals i'm talking about rats rodents owls all these animals that you can't you can't really check meet the dog coming in contact with it yeah so that being said let's just talk about other things that your kennel should have you should have a plate for food you should also have a plate for water basic first aid now i'm I'm not going to be talking about how to carry out the basic first aid today. If you want to know how to check if your dog is okay by yourself, um, just comment in the comment section and then I'll get to know the amount of people that are interested in getting to know how to know if their dogs are okay and then I will make a video on basic first aid, how to check, um, how to, how to check the vital signs vital parameters of your dog and also the things you should check out for to know if your dog is sick or not but i'm going to tell you this the basic first aid you need for your dog is number one the ability to dictate that your dog is sick that is you yourself you need to know when to call a vet you need to know when your dog is sick and how do you know those things there's one very indispensable thing you need to have in your corner you need a thermometer I always say this every dog owner that doesn't have a thermometer is joking so if you're a dog owner and you don't have a thermometer please go get one go get a thermometer because we, before you call a vet you need to know what is your dog's temperature at the moment that is an indication to tell you if your dog is sick or if your dog is just sad yes some dogs can just be like there was a time someone woke me up in the night to tell me that the dog was sad the dog was just staying on his own mind. All that was wrong with the dog was that the dog was just not happy. So yeah, you, you should be able to tell all this by yourself. Don't mind Cody and his stuff that is coming. I think he's really hot. So um, let's go now to point number three without wasting much time. Point number three. Hey Cody, what do you say about point number three? <laughs> Especially if you have a dog that is hairy like Cody is, Caucasians, um, Lassa Absos, American Eskimos, Samoids. Um, I think the dogs that don't really need a lot of toiletries are um, Brabos and Associations even need grooming. So your dog needs a lot of grooming. Your dog needs a, a brush. Dogs need brushes, especially dogs that have long hair coats. They need brushes, they need scissors to groom. They need nail clip, nail cutters to cut their nails yes and every dog needs the following you need your own dog's bucket or or bath anything you need to bait it you need your dog's own so that you don't go contaminating what you have um, for your dog so cody what's wrong what's wrong with you why why are you why are you misbehaving sit yeah so the next thing you also need is um you need you need okay i think he wants to leave us so bye cody 
So the next thing you need for your dog is you need shampoo. Dogs should not be using the soaps human beings use. He's just lying on the floor right now. I don't even know if you can see him. Just lying on the floor. I think he was really hot. That was the reason why his penis was coming out. Yeah, so you see these are the things you need to know when you have a dog. So um, you, need to you need to be able to tell when your dog is hot, when your dog needs water, when your dog needs food. If you're not able to tell the things your dog needs, just put it in the comment section so that maybe I'll make a video to show you how I can tell when my dog is in pain, how I can tell when my dog is hot like I knew now that Cody was hot, how I can tell, how you can tell different things based on the signs your dog is showing you. Yeah, so let's let's continue what we're talking about. Sometimes our soap are too high. If you notice carefully, your vet, if you have a vet, your vet sometimes gives your dog in, um, medication through their back. That shows you that their skin is very sensitive. Dogs should have their own soap. If you cannot find a soap uh, or a local vet store close to you, use a very mild soap to bathe your dog. Your, your dog needs its own sponge, it needs its own soap, it needs its own toothbrush. Yes, you need to brush your dog's teeth too, especially these small bits that their teeth are together to avoid mouth odor. Yes, dogs have mouth odor. I always, always, always say this, you can't get a dog, you can't get a pet, you can't get any animal at all without also linking up with a vet. Get a dog, get a vet. Get any animal, get a vet. A vet is very, very important, not just, not just for dogs and stuff, but we need vets also in our environment to inspect our needs. But we're not talking about meat inspection, that one is story for another day. So there are a lot of things you need a vet for. Once you get a dog, you need a vet. You need to, you need to know your vaccination schedule. Dog needs routine treatment at least once a month, or once in two months, or once in three months. So yeah, in having a vet, having a vet cannot be overemphasized. It's a very, it's a necessity. It's a basic necessity for every pet owner. So I think this brings us gradually to point number five and our final point now i'm just going to talk about every other thing you need not in any particular category at all i think when you think about owning a pet owning a dog especially you it goes hand in hand with a leash some people use chains some people use belts some people use different materials leather you can use whatever you want and i see a lot of people taking taking their their dogs and just chaining putting the leash directly on their neck. No, your dog also needs a collar. You need to put a collar before you put chain. It's not right that your dog will just be there without a collar. And especially in developed areas, that collar can be able to, you can, if your dog gets missing, someone can trace the dog using the collar. So yeah, that happens in developed countries. But I know in my country, Nigeria, if the dog means they don't, they don't cook and chop with that. <laughs> Yeah, but seriously, Nigerians, we all know that we eat dog meat, so um, the collar doesn't really work in terms of finding the owner. I know that I've lost a client's dog before. The dog actually tore my window net and went out, and the only thing that saved me was that the dog was found by a policeman, so the policeman actually um, went out of his way to get back to me, and I was very grateful to him. Shout out to all those heroes that don't wear kids. Finally, 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 you need to think about budgets food for your dog how do you get to feed your dog you can either feed your dog on a budget or you can feed your dog using commercial food but today is not the day i start giving you hacks to feeding your dog if you're interested in hacks to feeding your dog so that you spend less money but get but get the most out of out of it just put it in the comment section yeah, and if you've liked the video so far, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I, I talk about animals. I love animals so much. And I try as much as possible to make it so simple. And yes, please comment. I like hearing from everybody. Um, That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I can't, can't, can't finish this video without talking about my look. My look is by my amazing sister. She's I'm going to put her Instagram and Facebook handle in the description box along with my own Instagram and Facebook handle. Be a part of our community. Reach out to her if you need her to do your makeup, your look and whatever. Her name is Bayada Zilkweni. And once again, thank you very much for liking this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up. 
and subscribe and comment on the video thank you very much until next week thursday when we talk about animals livestock and public health it's kisses it's always love from me dr noye at the protein